What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Steam Boss video. We are here Oceanside to start off the video. I don't have my sunglasses. It is very bright out. I can't even see the camera. So hopefully I'm in frame. Uh, so we got some cleaning today, guys. Surprise, surprise, some carpet cleaning and maybe some tile cleaning. Without further ado though, let's get into it. All right, so here we are at the first job. As you can see here, we have some pet issues going on here in this master bedroom. Uh, we're in Dunedin, Florida today. They're redoing their front yard. That's something you don't see all the time, a big pile of white sand. So they're, uh, it's gonna be kind of a cool beach thing. But in here, got some urine issues going on. Come in here, we got, so that's urine, urine, and that's all urine right there, and poop head right there. Letting in the light. <laughs> Letting After in the light. After you just said not to. <laughs> no, it's fine. So we're gonna treat all these urine spots here, let them soak with our uh, Sager's product, and then get to work. A couple more urine spots uh, going down the hall here, and a couple over here. So this dog really did a number on them when they were gone, so uh, we'll see if we can get all of these gone. What I like to do here, is kind of do a little bit of a perimeter around the spot. And then in the middle, we give her a nice soaking. Kind of get it right into the pad there. And as you can see, actually good example. Uh, so that already just disappeared right away after doing this, so. So up here on the third floor, we're also gonna be repairing uh, this seam that has come apart here on the carpet. Pretty easy fix, just gotta take this uh, old seam tape out, put some new in and reseam it. All right, seam done. Let's get started on those carpets. All right, so we've had everything kind of sitting here for a while. As you can see, all those spots that were here are actually disappeared uh, without even cleaning this yet. So it's looking pretty good. Let's check on Becky. Look at that, this carpet's turning out like brand new over here. Looking good indeed. Ah, the good old bottle of Resolve. That's where all the foam is coming from here. And uh, you hear that? Empty, empty bottle of Resolve. We know exactly where this went. Giving her a shot. I'm behind the line now. Ah, good, my arm hurts. Look at these perfect strokes. Oh, stop stroking your ego. Ha 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 Several bad puns later. Heat now. Them lines, though. Oh, 
All right, so we're getting a lot of foam. Uh, Becky's gonna go get the defoamer. We're gonna put some of that down because yeah, we're having some foam issues here. Um, so let me show you what I like to do in areas where there's a lot of deeper spots uh, to prevent, try to prevent anyway, wicking issues so we don't get any callbacks. When we do a bad area, we'll just throw a couple fans on it. And even if these fans sit for, I don't know, 20 minutes, uh, the carpet's not gonna be perfectly dry when we leave, but it's gonna be pretty dry and really minimize any wicking that we could potentially have with a bunch of those spots that were all through here. My head is spinning. <laughs> I hate doing these kind of stairs. There's no backing on them, so no. you gotta be careful. Luckily, there's nothing underneath us, but- You get a shower. Yeah, you get a shower. Down we go. Okay. I can get a nice close up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at those lines. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're wrapped up here. I'm gonna uh, get these fans out of here and then rake my way out. Doesn't look like we had any of the stains come back here, which is good. On to the next one. A few moments later. Stop for a quick lunch. Check this out. Oh. Yeah, that's cheese. Wait. Grilled cheese burrito, extra cheese. Where, guess where we're at in the comments below. Not even gonna tell you where we're at. Not even gonna tell you. All right, we are on the last tile job of the day. I apologize, the GoPro didn't film, well, anything we did in the last uh, 35 minutes, but let's go check it out anyway. So this one is a uh, standard tile cleaning here. Uh, we are having to acid wash some of the stained grout lines. We already got the hoses going on in here. Becky's CRV and away. Yeah how dirty these grout lines are. Yeah. This is some heavy tsunami on this one. Um, so we're letting this soak for a long time. But you can see the areas over here that we've already completed. Look at the difference. This is like pure white grout lines, but uh, looks so 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 much better now it's uh, really good compared to yeah what it's looking like over here so this is actually our last job before the 4th of july so happy 4th of july to everybody out there if you're watching this around i think i'm gonna upload this video around that time uh we are taking a couple extra days off of will needed rest i'm black america yeah <laughs> and dirty time
so this room here is a really good example of what I'm talking about with uh, grout staining. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this room here and show you guys uh, what happens when the grout gets stained. Okay, so in this room that we're in right now, the tile was just clean, the same as we're cleaning everything else. However, this is the front kind of room here with the that comes out from the garage. And this is where all the dogs are uh, a lot of the times and everything else. And we have some severe staining on this. Let me show you. Okay, so even up here with the camera, you can notice certain areas of this grout turned out pretty good, but there are other areas here that just did not come out very good. So in this particular scenario, a lot of companies might just leave this and tell you that, hey, your grout lines are stained. There's not much you can do about it. However, we know we have a solution. So with this, we're going to have to put down our acid product, which happens to be Sager's Vengeance. You can see all the staining here. Uh, and we're going to let that sit and that should break down a lot of this staining and make this a lot more even. Now, you obviously have to be very careful with acidic products. A lot of people see them online and think, oh, I'm just gonna throw this on anything. You have to be careful because you can wreck stuff with it. So it's important to do a little test spot in advance to make sure that you don't etch the tile or anything else like that and that it's safe. And that it's also rinsed and neutralized very well after you're done. Okay, so we've rinsed this really well. Let it dry up and as you can see, the much better improvement. Now is 100% of the staining gone? Probably not, but I'd say about 95 is. Looks a lot, lot better. But that's the key to really getting it to look really nice. So what we're doing now is uh, sealing this floor here, kind of in the middle of it, as you can see. Once this dries up, we'll be good to go. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a hot one here in Florida, especially in this warehouse. It is like 95 degrees in here. So I'm wrapping up this truck and I'm getting out of here. Have a happy 4th of July and we'll see all you on the next video. Peace.